Hey guys, Justin from the Dragon Bone Basement. Uh, today I thought I would do a little bit of experimenting with silicone. Perfect. Not silicone implants, silicone that you use in molding and casting. As some of you may know, you can buy uh, silicone molding material and it's very expensive. So what I'm looking for is a cheaper alternative. So what I'm going to be experimenting with today is this stuff. You can get this for like five bucks a tube or so and make sure you get the 100% silicone. There's several different variations I've seen used around the web. There's all kinds of things out there to try so I'm going to be giving a few of the ones that I've seen that look the most promising to try and uh, then afterwards we'll compare them and see what works the best. So let's get started. Now there's two main problems with silicone caulking. It likes to trap air bubbles, and if you apply it thickly, uh, it never cures in the middle. Plus, it's super sticky and really hard to work with. I mix the acrylic paint and silicone first. then added the cornstarch. It didn't seem to be mixing in very well, so I made the mistake of trying to mix it in with my fingers. This just made a huge sticky mess, and although it eventually all got mixed together, I ended up scraping most of it off my fingers. Now, even though the cornstarch doesn't look like it's going to get mixed in at the very beginning, if you just keep mixing, it will eventually get all mixed into the silicone without using your fingers to mix it. For this test, I started by using a straw to add a few drops of glycerin, then squirted in a few drops of acrylic paint. This mixed very easily and was a lot less sticky and generally very nice to work with, although its pot life was rather short, less than five minutes. This last test was one of the more simple yet bizarre methods I ran across. It states that if you submerge the silicone caulking in water and work it thoroughly with your fingers prior to applying it to your mold, it releases the acetic acid in the caulking and aids in the cure. So after all the experiments are over, here's my results, my findings. So this is what you get when you mix uh, the silicone caulking with cornstarch and acrylic paint. Uh, it's pretty, pretty hard, uh, pretty strong. It's got good uh, tear strength, and uh, it's pretty firm. Though. I mean, you can tell I'm pushing on it pretty hard here and it uh, doesn't have a whole lot of give to it. Uh, this stuff gets wicked nasty sticky. So that's that one. This next one is the uh, glycerin and uh, acrylic paint mixture. Uh, the acrylic paint aids in the curing process very well and the uh, glycerin takes away the like stickiness. Uh, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's a little bit smoother. Uh, and it's still got pretty good, pretty good tear strength. I smoothed that a little uh, thin piece here just to see how strong it would be. Uh, this one is the underwater and uh, it doesn't have anything added to it. It just was uh, you know silicone underwater and then 
needed around. This one was a huge pain to uh, work with, and the result, the end result is cool, uh, but it's not really all that much different than this one, in my opinion. So, in my opinion, this one is just too much of a pain uh, to bother with. It doesn't do anything better for you than uh, the acrylic and glycerin one. Uh, then this next one, since I was in an experimenting mood, uh, this one I mixed with alcohol, with like rubbing alcohol like you get at the drugstore. And what that did was it made it thinner, first of all, as you can see, and it extended the pot life. These next ones, uh, I mixed the glycerin acrylic paint and cornstarch together first. Uh, so it's basically the same mixture as this guy except I just mixed the things differently and the result was very very different. I get this weird very soft kind of crumbly I mean you can just like peel it apart kind of crumbly stuff and I tried making a, a little mold out of a, one of my cheap little tiny skeletons that I had laying around and the mold actually fell um, once it dried it like sunk these are the eye sockets and they should be standing straight up. They're like sunk and, and spread out and I don't know. So this stuff would be cool for the right application, uh, but it's not really all that good for molding, which is what I was experimenting with. But this would be great for like gore or uh, you know something like that where you need like a raw hamburger kind of you know nastiness. But it's it's not very strong at all. As you can see. So that's my uh, silicone experiment. <laughs>